Let's play this from the beginning. There might be sound, like last time, maybe, on the shooting. No sound. All right. Pew, pew. <laughs> oh, neat. Cool. All right, let's see. So what I would do, the couple of things with the camera that I would tweak that might help you just focus on the animation. Like even on here, I will probably tilt down a bit lower so that when he enters, he's not in that half. You want to look at the thirds. It's kind of like the... It's a knee jerk. It's kind of like, I mean, there are many ways to, to look at composition, but I think it's kind of like always a, a nice clean version to start with. And we're very low. So even here, actually, let me just bring this up just in case. That's the lowest part of the frame here. We are so low that like the upper part, you're always expecting something to come through the window here. So to me, it feels like we can reframe this. And by we, I mean you, <laughs> where we are maybe potentially more like this. Comes in, pa pa there and then that and that way you have a big clear framing but even here i'm not quite sure why we are so high and you might even wait with the translate where where we wait a bit and then and when he starts to run then we start going back but even then again we need to be somewhere here with the framing versus all the way down i'm just i'm not hugely smitten by the current framing there. So lower, lower, lower. And it's tricky to, to kind of see what's going on given that there's such pops because of the stepped blocking here where we kind of, we need to kind of know at what point like where he is. Now I understand that at that point we would tilt up because we want to see the creature and that's cool. That all works. Again, there's some big moves here on the human. So we cool to get that splined out just to see what's going on because at this point that gets a bit weird we don't see the face it's all cut off the creature's really low in frame here there needs to be a bit of a reframe where we're probably higher on the camera but you know he would be always there so some some parts are a bit tricky to determine as of now this is all cool definitely more clear as to what's going on then I'd be careful, there's this, a strange camera move where the camera here, it does it translate down and then over. And I would keep those things all in rotations. So we just kind of reframe through rotations and not with with sudden translates. You can see how there's a perspective change and everything because it's a translate. You have to imagine this is the person running. I mean, we are on the ground here, but you can always imagine there's a, like a train track or something where... Uh, you know, rail where the camera people are pulling that camera back, but of course he gets to be tricky. We're so low, so you have to think in terms of how can we make this work that so that the camera doesn't distract from the action with some implausible camera moves. Framing wise, that's okay. That's all cool. Again, we can maybe potentially change some things, but it's okay. It's cool to see this here, and then that. And I like that, that we're focusing actually on the stomach. It goes here and then rah, does this and then rah, that's cool. But even here we have a, I'm not sure what's going on here. Is this a camera change, like a lens change? Because there's a massive distortion here. The face starts to scale. I'm slightly confused as to what is going on through there. This feels like we're really changing the camera. Is that something that was... A missed key at the end, or you're trying to go for like a horror movie element where suddenly there's kind of a almost like a dolly zoom type of thing. So that would be my comment for the cameras. Now you are asking here. Let's see. You look forward to blah 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 alterations. Alright, that seems all fairly clear. Other than that, action-wise, again that sumble is still cool. I love how he pushes off of the gun is great. The creature there is cool. We might even be a bit further here, if possible, to separate uh, the creature from him. That's cool. I like the crossing going up there. I like the speed of the creature is cool. 
Let me look at the timing of the firing. See, does this? I look at the guy, look at the creature, and then pow, pow. again with the step mode, it's tricky. He shoots and he, he there's such a massive move for one frame. It's going to take a lot longer. And my concern is that since this needs to take a lot longer to shoot, to have that impact, to stumble, that do you then want to tilt with the creature so that we're actually missing what's going on? Probably then has to shoot, focus on the creature, shoots, and does that. Okay. That's cool on the second creature. That's all cool too. Run, look at the weapon. Bam. Yeah, the rest is really cool. My thing would be, and if you want to, I can help you with the uh, with the camera. Maybe if you, if you can add or just spline the whole thing, even if it's going to be super wonky. I'm just curious about the placement of the character, and you can send me the scene, and I can help you with the camera if you want. Um, it's totally up to you. But that's that. I would definitely go into more breakdowns so you can see proper placements and timing, especially on things like this where there's such a difference. So more breakdowns between really big moves so we can look at the timing and placement of both characters. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.